Think about a world where the satellites you rely on for GPS, banking, weather forecasts, and even military communications could be knocked out from the ground in an instant. This isn't just a cool scene from a sci-fi movie, it's a future that is getting closer and closer to reality. Chinese researchers have reportedly created a new type of crystal, said to be the largest and most powerful of its kind. This isn't some fancy gemstone, it's a highly engineered crystal that could become the heart of a new and unnerving generation of weapons. This one breakthrough could pave the way for ground-based lasers powerful enough to wreak havoc in orbit, effectively blinding the eyes and silencing the voices of adversaries in space. This doesn't just move the goalposts, it could change the entire game, pushing the space arms race to a whole new level. So, what exactly is this new crystal? And why is this one small object causing such a stir in defense circles worldwide? The shiny new toy at the center of all this is a barium gallium selenide crystal, or BGSE for short. In science speak, it's a nonlinear crystal. For the rest of us, it's easier to think of it as a seriously advanced prism. A regular prism splits light into a rainbow. But a nonlinear crystal like BGSE does something much more impressive. It can take a laser beam and completely change its fundamental properties, its frequency, its wavelength, its very nature. The big news from Chinese scientists is all about size and quality. They've managed to grow a BGSE crystal that is reportedly 60 millimeters in diameter, the largest of its kind ever created. And in the world of high-energy lasers, size really is everything. A bigger, cleaner crystal can handle way more energy and produce a more stable and powerful beam. This isn't just a small step forward, it's a leap that many experts thought was still years, if not decades, away. To really get why this is a big deal, you have to understand just how difficult it is to make one of these. It's an incredibly slow and careful process. It all starts with ultra-pure raw materials, which get sealed in vacuum-tight quartz tubes. These tubes are then heated to extreme temperatures to burn off any impurities. Finally, the crystal is grown through a slow cooling method where the slightest temperature change could create tiny cracks and render the whole thing useless. The result of all that hard work is a crystal described as structurally perfect, totally crack-free, and almost perfectly transparent. In other words, it's both incredibly tough and phenomenally efficient, exactly the two qualities you'd need to build a weapon that can reach out of our atmosphere and into space. So. China can grow a big, perfect crystal. That's great for science, but how does that turn into a weapon that can hit a satellite screaming through space at thousands of miles per hour? The secret is all about beating the biggest roadblock for any ground-based laser, Earth's atmosphere. Our atmosphere acts like a thick, shaky blanket of air. Firing a laser from the ground into space is like trying to shoot a target from the bottom of a swimming pool. The water messes up your aim and slows everything down. The atmosphere does the same thing to a laser, causing the beam to scatter and lose its punch. But, the atmosphere has a few tricks up its sleeve. It has what scientists call, transmission windows, specific frequencies of light that can pass right through with almost no trouble. It's like finding an open window on a brick wall. The trick has always been building a laser that's not just powerful, but also tuned to the exact frequency of one of those windows. This is where the BGSE crystal is a total game changer. Its special nonlinear properties allow it to do something called frequency conversion. It can take a powerful, easy to make short wave infrared laser and efficiently transform it into a mid to far infrared beam. This new frequency just so happens to line up perfectly with a major atmospheric transmission window, letting the laser slice through the air and into space with very little power loss. But it's not just about getting the beam into space, it's about arriving with enough power to actually do something. And this is where the Chinese breakthrough gets a little scary. The new BGSE crystal can reportedly withstand a laser intensity of up to 550 megawatts per square centimeter. To give you some context, that's about 10 times more power than what other military-grade crystals can handle before they crack. This incredible power tolerance means the potential energy of these new laser systems is off the charts. When you combine that much power with the crystal's ability to tune the laser to the perfect frequency, you have the perfect recipe for a potential anti-satellite weapon. 
A country could fire a beam of pure energy from a facility on the ground and blind a satellite's sensors, fry its electronics, or maybe even destroy it from hundreds of miles below. The tech is one thing, but the consequences are another. Developing a reliable, ground-based anti-satellite weapon isn't just a scientific win. It's a major shift in the global balance of power. For the past 50 years, modern life and warfare have become totally dependent on the satellites circling over our heads. Just think about your day. The GPS that gets you around town, the credit card you swipe at the store, the news you get on your phone, it all relies on a steady stream of data from space. For the military, that dependence is even greater. Reconnaissance satellites are their eyes in the sky, communication satellites are the nervous system connecting troops, and navigation satellites guide everything from ships to smart bombs. Taking out that network would be a disaster. The ability to block an enemy from using their own space assets is a huge strategic advantage. This seems to be a big reason why China is pushing this technology so hard. In recent years, we've seen the rise of massive commercial satellite networks like Starlink. These swarms of thousands of small satellites have already shown how useful they can be in conflicts like the war in Ukraine, providing tough to disrupt communications and surveillance. From Beijing's point of view, the idea of a network like that being used against them, maybe in a future conflict over Taiwan, is a serious threat. A ground-based anti-satellite laser could be an effective answer. It gives them what military planners call a space denial capability, the power to create a no-go zone in low Earth orbit and neutralize an opponent's key advantage right at the start of a fight. This breakthrough is one piece of a much larger global race for better directed energy weapons. China has been very clear that it wants to be a world leader in this kind of next-gen military tech. By solving one of the toughest problems in high-powered lasers, it has taken a huge step toward that goal. So, where are we now? With this new potential capability, the 21st century space race is looking a lot different than the last one. The first space race was about planting a flag on the moon. This new one is about controlling orbit, with the real possibility of conflict. The arrival of effective anti-satellite weapons makes the risk of escalation much higher. Space used to be seen as a bit of a sanctuary, but that's changing fast. If one country can reliably take out another's satellites from the ground, the temptation to strike first in a crisis and blind an adversary could be huge. An attack like that could cripple a nation and would almost certainly be seen as an act of war, kicking off a much bigger conflict back on Earth. Now, let's be clear. The creation of this crystal is a huge breakthrough in a lab, but it doesn't mean there's a fully operational weapon ready to go today. There is currently no public evidence that China has actually deployed these systems. Going from a perfect part in a lab to a reliable weapon in the field is a massive challenge. It means building huge power plants, developing pinpoint tracking systems to hit objects moving at over 17,000 miles per hour, and creating complex optics to correct for atmospheric distortion in real time. It's also worth noting that some of China's most recent public laser achievements have been focused on satellite communication, not weaponization. But the dual-use nature of this technology is exactly what has people concerned. The hardest part of the puzzle, the core component that can handle the power and cheat the atmosphere, may now be solved. The road from the lab to the battlefield just got a lot shorter. So, to wrap it all up, Chinese researchers have engineered what they claim is the world's largest and toughest BGSE crystal. This one component could unlock a new class of ultra-high power, ground-based lasers. Its unique talent for changing a laser's frequency might allow these beams to cut through the atmosphere and target satellites in orbit. This isn't just a small improvement, it's a potential leap in military tech that threatens to spark a new, more dangerous arms race for the control of space. The power to control the high ground of space could define the global conflicts of the future. As ground-based lasers get closer to reality, are we on the verge of a future where the sky is no longer a sanctuary, but the next battlefield? What do you think this all means for global security? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this breakdown useful, be sure to like, subscribe for more deep dives into this kind of tech, and share this video to help other people understand what's at stake.